Hello everybody, it's the Silver Howler. What do you think about insects? Strictly speaking, moths. Are they creepy to you? Are they cute? Are they annoying? Are they beautiful? I think that they are beautiful and are one of the most adorable creatures in the insect kingdom. But before I get into that, there is one thing that I want everyone to be aware of. That is that everything that has been invented and or created by people was inspired by something upon this earth that our loving Father in Heaven created for us to enjoy and to learn from. Leonardo da Vinci. He tried creating a way to fly because of the birds, and the Wright brothers finally created the first airplane. Another person is Thomas Edison. He created the light bulb to mimic the sun or fire, so it was less dangerous and much easier to transport. Many people have created many things based off of our wonderful planet, and I can't think of one person who hasn't. So, why moths? Well, there is one type of moth that has benefited people for centuries. That's the silk moth. I find them amazing, and they're so easy to care for in captivity. They can hatch from their eggs roughly around a week between 78 to 85 degrees as tiny little caterpillars, but it can take up to two weeks for them to hatch. Their main food source are mulberry tree leaves, especially the white mulberry tree leaves which are found in China, which is where the silkworms originated. But if there aren't any of those around, then they feast on the Osage orange tree leaves as well. They can also last a week without food, and as caterpillars, they can go around a month before cocooning. They take about three weeks in their cocoons, then they emerge as beautiful moths. They don't eat or drink because they don't have any mouth. Their whole purpose is to find a mate, lay eggs, and the process starts all over again. Now, that's great and all. But did you know that they are edible for animals and people, and have health benefits in them such as high sources of calcium, protein, iron, magnesium, sodium, and vitamin B1, B2, and B3. Now, as you may also know, the cocoons from these creatures are what's amazing, because since the age of time that the silkworms have been discovered, people have been making clothes from their silk ever since. Not only is it hard to make clothes the old-fashioned way, but it takes a lot more time to make the cocoons into usable silk for whatever it is to be made into, such as clothes. How do they make the cocoons into thread, you might ask? They get a good amount of silk for the threading machine to pull through, and it takes it from there. A lot easier now than it was back then. Actually, silk as thick as a pencil can carry an entire jumbo jet, and some silk threads can even cut through marble. I hope you all have enjoyed the video, and please like the video if you have, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.